I value aesthetic emotions. Um, the infinite complexity and beauty of the natural world is something that moves me. Um, so I would say I, I am a romantic, but not at the expense of reason or being pragmatic. Like, I know there's nothing harmonious or idealistic or pure about the natural world. Those are all human values that we project onto it. It just exists. It's just something that exists. And it doesn't care about us. I think the image of a wild animal is primordial. And yet, strangely uncanny in a, at least in a contemporary Western context. Uh, nature is culturally irrelevant for us. And that kind of tension is just really engaging to me. Uh, because we're always trying to reconcile what we see with our inner selves. Like, how does this thing relate to me and why? And so when I see an animal, either in reality or a representation, in, and especially in contemporary art, I feel like I'm trying to, I feel like I'm trying to answer that impossible question in my life. Which is what really drives my work. My paintings are, so I think my paintings are fundamentally an attempt to reconcile nature as a subject that I care deeply about with its absence in society. And I think it's interesting that we project all kinds of bizarre romantic ideals onto nature. because the reality of wild animals exists in the modern imagination. And that's what I find absolutely fascinating is that nature has become something that's psychological and not physical for us. To me, this visual language is the most effective way of communicating the ideas that I've come up with now. It might change in the future. Like, I'm obsessed, I'm absolutely obsessed with how to represent ideas that I care about visually. That's the problem. That, that to me is like an analytical problem to solve through painting. And this, this method, how, what I'm doing right now, is the best way to solve that so far. So although this, this conceptual framework applies to all of my work, some paintings are inspired by stories of actual animals or biological facts that I think are fascinating or the animals represent something personal to me. And I think that is an example of how the image of an animal is really is still relevant to us as a way of expressing the human condition, which has been true for centuries. And so animals retain their value as a narrative device, even though their physical reality has been removed from our culture.
Since my paintings are not traditionally narrative, the concept is the narrative. And so for me, it makes sense to have my process reflect my ideas and also in a way communicate those ideas visually. And each painting begins as a digital collage. Um, I, I think rather analytically and so I need the plan to be re completely realized before I start the painting. And so the composition is done on a computer and I think technology is just as much of a creative tool as anything else is. And collage as a language I think is very important because I'm trying to create a deconstructed aesthetic in the work to lend to this sense of the animals themselves disappearing, not only culturally, not only in our culture, but also environmentally, like in, in reality they are vanishing. And so I want to embrace the environmental dialogue that pervades our culture as well.